Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a DIY Dollar Tree Plus, and I'll explain that in a minute, French Country Farmhouse Scale Clock. My inspiration was this. It's supposed to look like a faux scale. It's actually a clock. I love this, and I've had this on my pin for a really long time. Um, so we're going to use a clock. Now, there's two examples of clocks. This one is from Walmart. It's $3.88, and it's got a great detail. And then this one I got for $1.99 at the 99 cent only store. But I want to show you, if you just want a faux scale, you can actually use this tray from the Dollar Tree, and then you can paint it and do a printable scale front. We're also going to use this wire garbage can from the Dollar Tree, the black one, and we're going to use a hanging basket as well. Um, we're not going to use it exactly like that. We're going to switch it up. We're also going to use some wire. You can use any floral wire. I was gifted this silver, but you're probably going to end up painting it anyway, so get whatever color. And then a scissor. And then the last thing I ended up using just to pry open some stuff is just a pliers. We're not going to need it for wire cutters or anything. And you'll also need one of these hanging plant brackets. Um, I already have mine hung on the wall. I'll link that video in the description box down below. Now, normally I don't share design process with you, but I just wanted to show you that if you do want the filigree work of the example, then you can go ahead and cut up this fence, which is really cool. And then the other thing I wanted to show you was um, different ways to attach the plate if you end up using it the chart the, the the metal plate um, i would just spray paint it black print out a, a scale face or a clock face and uh, fill it in there and then i can you can glue some jute or trick chain around the back or you can actually take a drill with a metal drill belt and actually drill through it which you could do as well um, oh i forgot to tell you about the little hangers you're going to need this hanging kit. This is a picture hanging kit from the Dollar Tree. It's in the hardware section as well because you're going to use the little eye hooks. So what I've basically done is I've just marked the middle of the 12. Um, and I want to show you that you can um, just screw this into the plastic. It's a very, very lightweight clock, this one. Obviously, if your clock is heavier, then you want to go ahead and support it on the inside. Um, but this clock is super, super lightweight. This is not a problem hanging on this. Um, and I put a jump ring on there from a keychain. And just to show you how it looks like with just the clock, it's really sweet. Um, like I said, I'll show you guys in the description box down below the video of how we hung that bracket if you're new to the channel. All right, and this is how it looks as just a clock. It is super sweet, and again, it's only like five bucks to do this, all right? But of course, I want the scale look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this hanging planter, what happens to fit absolutely 100% perfectly in this garbage can from the Dollar Tree. I know, it's actually like kind of freakishly weird um, how well they fit. But what I'm doing is I've taken a tape measure and I've measured from the rim of the basket to the middle of the basket, just on one of its ribs. And I found out that it's eight inches long. So now what I'm doing is I'm transferring eight inches from the top of the garbage can um, and I'm marking around the eight inch perimeter along the bottom of the basket. Now I'm using um, a white chalk marker because I want you guys to see it on camera but anyway you guys want to mark it if you want to throw a piece of tape down there or whatever you're fine um, so what I'm gonna do and I and this is just for video purposes like I've said if you um, can do this if you want to you could skip this if you want to but I'm just gonna throw a zip tie on one end because I am trying to keep this away from my body <laughs> which is the way I would normally craft it um, I'm throwing a zip tie on it to kind of hold the one end while I sew the other and now we're just going to take the wire, the, the floral wire, and we're going to sew around the rim of this basket. Like I said, mine is silver, so it would show us up on camera. Um, if you use the green, it really doesn't show up in person. Like I did, Jimmy didn't even notice it when I asked him to come home. And when he came home, I asked him to look to see if he noticed it. And he said he didn't even notice the silver. But if you use green, it'll be even less noticeable. Um, if you don't want to... Um, if you don't want to go ahead and spray paint it afterwards. So we're just gonna take it and wire it around. And basically, however, how I'm doing it is I'm going in each and every hole that's available only one time and I'm going around the rim of the basket and I'm pulling really tight. The, the rim of the garbage can and the rim of this wreath are exactly the same. So they don't really fit inside each other very well. But we're gonna fudge it a tiny bit by pulling that wire as tight as we can. 
okay? And I'm ending up using two pieces. I'm going to go like halfway around one way and then halfway around the other way. Because you, if you guys remember from the hand sewing project, when you use a piece that's too long, it actually ends up being a little bit of a hindrance. It can get caught up or it can get tangled or knotted. Um, and it's just not worth it. It's easier to go ahead and use two different pieces. Now there is other black wire from the Dollar Tree in the hardware section, but it's a lot thicker. It is coated, so you don't have to worry about that portion, um, but it is a lot thicker and it will show up as wire, as opposed to this wire, like as you can't really see it on camera, you can't really see it in person. It almost blends right in. Now, of course I thought, could I glue this? And I really wanted to make this basket forever. I, I mean, so I figured wiring was the best way to go. Other than buying a soldering gun, this is probably the best way to go. All right. Now, um, I'm trying to think. You could use this basket. That's what I was trying to say. You could use this basket for any reason at all, um, obviously, um, once it's lined. Now, um, we are going to wire it up really, really well, and we're going to actually reinforce the bottom so that we can actually hang fruit in here. If our clock screws were strong enough to actually hang fruit in here, it could be a fruit basket, um, but I'm not going to use it for that. As you noticed in the inspiration piece, they just had dried flowers in it, and that's probably what I'm just going to do in mine. Now, Dollar Tree does sell the cute little baskets. Um, I don't have one. <laughs> So you could skip this step, but I really have been wanting to make this basket for a very long time for you guys anyway. Um, so we're going to go ahead and I'll show you how to do it today. So basically what I've done is I've taken the uh, basket wherever there was a rib and I drew a white line down it for me. And I basically cut from the, the cut portion of the basket to where the basket touches the hanging planter. Um, I've gone straight up until just about where they touch. All right, and we're just going to leave it wide for now. And then once we have all of them cut, we're gonna go ahead and fold each one down into the space, mark along the rib, and you wanna kind of mark a little bit towards the outsides of the rib, if you know what I mean, so that your triangle covers both wires. Um, and then we're going to continue that line up to a point in the middle. All right, and then you're just gonna cut it out. This wire garbage can cuts so well with just a regular scissor. This is just a regular Westcott scissor that I got at the Dollar Tree. Um, and you're gonna repeat this for all nine sections, okay? And once you have all nine sections cut out, clean up your area. Um, I'm just gonna take a wet uh, baby wipe to wipe off all of that. Uh, white chalk because I was afraid that once I folded in the areas I wasn't going to be able to clean it but if you're not using anything to mark it up then don't worry about skipping that step <laughs> all right so now what we're doing is we're going to fold um, the first two corners or two sections down and we're going to wire them together we're not only wiring them together but we're wiring them around that rib now it probably would have been a good idea if I actually fed the triangle under the circle um, but I didn't because I kind of wanted it to be uh, completely covered on the outside. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to put a little extra pieces in there, reinforce it at the end, and you'll see that coming up. But if you feel like you'd like the center to be more secure, you can go ahead and put those points of each of those um, wires underneath the ring. That would probably help support it more. But again, I just wanted to use mine for dried flowers or artificial flowers. Um, I wasn't going to use it for anything heavy duty anyway, but I will tell you, we tested it. It holds a whole uh, bag of peaches, I think we have. <laughs> Two pounds of peaches we bought at the store today. Okay. Now, anytime you come to where you might not have cut deep enough, you go ahead and fix that. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm actually taking the spool of wire I'm taking enough wire off the spool to go up one side and then down the other. Um, so I'm able to connect them with one continuous wire. Not all nine sections, just each um, each pair, I guess is what it's saying. So I'm gonna go um, down, basically, we, if we numbered them, I'm gonna go up the left side of number one, down the right side of number one to connect it to number two. And then I'm going to take another piece and I'm going to take 
um, and go up the right side of number two, connecting it to the left side of number three, and then down the right side of number three and repeat. And I hope that that doesn't confuse you, but I think you can kind of see what I'm doing. What I had done, and I didn't realize it, was I actually skipped one of the ribs, so I had to go back afterwards. I actually just continued, instead of going back up and down one, I just went across the other. I guess the moral of the story is just have all of the ribs, <laughs> um, all of the ribs, uh, and the sides, uh, the, the, the sections, excuse me, wired together and don't end. I think the key I want to tell you too, is to not end in the center of the basket. You want to end your wires all up on the top where the, uh, two sections meet the rib. Okay. The reason that is, is because if you end up closing all your wires in the very very bottom of the center of the basket it's going to actually weaken that area a little bit um, so if you finish your wire up at the top then you'll have the full strength of wires and not wire ends um, supporting whatever you put in your basket all right now like I said I've wanted to do this basket for you guys for a while so I'm glad I'm finally getting to it um, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'll show you guys how we're gonna use the chain um, that comes with it and to just change it up a little bit. But my real desire was to get two of those, um, those cute baskets with the wire handles and to take the wire handles off and transfer them to this basket. But um, like I said, I don't have those um, and I, I'll show you how to do the chain. It, it looks really cute because we're actually gonna um, have the chain without any muscle. I'll show you that in a minute, okay? Now the sections that we cut off uh, to make these triangles, we're going to um, save two of them and we're going to fill in to support the bottom um, in a minute. Um, and it's just going to go by really fast. So all I did was once that's done, I tucked them under the circle. Um, I cut them down so they fit just tucked under the circle on the inside of the basket. And that's just to give like support across. And I crisscrossed them. So I basically put one from north to south and I put one from east to west. And I actually didn't even wire them in. I just laid them um, and tucked them under the under the uh, round circle in the middle. Okay. Now I am absolutely loving this. Um, Melissa from Four Quarter Crafts actually did uh, was a big inspiration for wanting to make this basket. She did a, um, a lamp shade where she put sections of this garbage can between the sections, basically like so almost like strips of, of, of the uh, chicken wire. Um, so ever since then, I was like, oh, I totally want to make that into a basket. <laughs> There's actually a lot of life hacks, uh, Dollar Tree life hacks out there that use this planter as hanging fruit baskets, um, except you can't really put big pieces of fruit in there because they will fall out so you end up having to use the little baskets and they're not quite big enough for, for a fruit basket so or you have to use that core mat which is just like ew my fruit's touching that weird grass <laughs> um so now that i have all the sections done i'm just going to take those um extra the ends of all the wires and what i'm doing is i'm basically looping them around the rib a couple of times and i'm taking the end and on the inside of the basket I'm making a loop and feeding the end back through the loop. And I'm doing that twice to basically tie it off. Once I have it tied off, I'm gonna cut off the excess and tuck it underneath the rib so that it's not poking on the inside of the basket or the outside, okay? And you wanna repeat that for all four wire ends because there will be four wire ends because there is um, nine ribs, okay? And there it is. So now we're just gonna take those little tiny throw out pieces and we're just gonna lay them across the bottom. Like again, I said, just to support that extra bottom. All right, and now, I love it. <laughs> we're gonna take the chain and what I'm gonna do is the chain has a hook that connects, I mean the, the hanger has a hook that connects three chains and at the end of each chain is a, uh, I think they're called, uh, I want to call them carabiners, but that's not what they're called. Dang it. Okay, pull clips or, I don't know. 
zipper. I just remember they remind me of the things you put on your zipper pull. Um, anyway, snap clips. That's it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put the chain, a snap clip on each of the corners. I'm going to connect a chain in a triangular form. So one chain goes from this corner to that corner. That one goes from this one to this one and so on. Then we're going to find the center. Now the center of this one happened to be a center plus one chain loop. So what I did was I found the center and when I found the one piece of chain that was sagging, I went ahead and I just moved it down on the clip. Um, so that it was hanging absolutely perfectly. And then I hung the hook that I had removed from the beginning back into that center area so we can hang the basket. And I just thought that came out super cool. I used the pliers to open that hook and I used it to close that hook again so that we could secure all those chains in place. Okay. Now the next step is to put another uh, uh, hook. What I just forgot the name of it another eye hook sorry um in the bottom of the clock the same way we did before however i messed up and i want to show you how you could fix it if you mess up i just cut i made the hole too big so i cut a piece of popsicle stick um, and i threaded the eye hook through the piece of popsicle stick then i unscrewed it put the popsicle stick on the inside of the plastic and used it to hold that eye hook then of course I took my Sharpie again and colored that in black so that you could see it. And here it is all finished. I am in love. I am so happy. I just don't even can't even tell you. So um, just here it is right now. I don't have the flowers in it yet. These are just my French country napkins. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial basket and scale and all the things. Um, if you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to share this video with friends and family. Anyone you know might be interested in learning how to redo this basket or make this hanging clock. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe and when you do a little bell will pop up. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. And as always, you take care, God bless, and we'll see you next time. Bye!